Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Going to welcome you back to our political forum and of course we got a very special guest with us today. We got Ricky Smith, who's going to be a candidate for mayor for the city of Iuka. And of course, that election is coming up on June the 6th. And folks, that's just a few days away. And we're excited about having Ricky live with us today to talk about this mayor's race. Rick, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have Rick with us. I've known Rick for many, many years. And of course, he's been, uh, I guess you could say, a fixture in the Iuka area and a, an old Iuka chieftain uh, back in the good old days, yes, right? Sir. Yep. And, uh, of course, uh, if you've seen Rick signs out, uh, I was kidding him before we went live. Uh, he's got the, uh, got the white and black and got the uh, gold and black. And, of course, uh, that takes you back to those old Iuka Chieftain uh, yes, days, sir. right? Yes, sir. But, uh, Rick, before we get started, of course, this election is coming up on June the 6th. I know from uh, riding around Iuka, you've been really busy. You, uh, you've been out seeing the folks. you got a lot of signs up. How's the campaign going? Uh, so far, it's going real well. I've tried to talk to as many people as I can, went door to door and everything, and I'm sure I've missed some folks, and uh, I'll be trying to reach out to them between now and Election Day. So it's, it's sort of been hectic, but uh, it's been really enjoyable. I've been enjoying talking to people. Getting I've been from Iuka all my life, but it's sort of like I'm getting to know everybody again and talking to them about their concerns and me talking to them about my concerns and what we could do to make Iuka a better town. Of course, the whole key to this election is coming up, and it's going to be you, the folks out there. And, of course, Rick, we talked about it. You know, last time the turnout was really not good at all. Yep. And, uh, folks, if you want to make uh, a difference, you got to get out and vote. Uh, your thoughts on trying to get the folks out to vote? Yes, sir. Uh, as he said, the last uh, mayor election and city election we had was a, uh, had a very, very low turnout, less than 50%. And I'm hoping to get more people out to vote this time and everybody that's stated concerns with me and everything, if they'll get out and vote and everything, I think we can make change and change good for the city this time. If you just happen to join us, we got Ricky Smith with us. He's the candidate for Mayor of Iuka, the big race coming up on June the 6th. And of course, that's what we're talking about. We need you to get out and vote. Rick, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and then we'll talk more about this campaign. Okay. Uh, as I've always stated, I'm originally from Iuka, born and raised there. Uh, my dad and mother was Francine and Corky Smith, the late Francine and Corky Smith of Iuka. Uh, I've uh, attended Iuka High School. After graduation, I left and uh, joined the National Guard, came back, attended Mississippi State University and graduated with a BS degree in education and uh, tried to come back home and uh, advance myself further employment. And uh, I couldn't do that at the time, so I had uh, applied for and got a job with the Tennessee Valley Authority. At, uh, I spent 30 years with that company. And in that time, uh, part of that uh, uh, working uh, history, I worked in their public safety division. And in that division, we uh, attended to, things like uh, security, firefighting, the EMT part of it was emergency medical technician. We were trained in all aspects of those jobs and that's things that I think I can bring in to, to work with the city and make me a better mayor. And, and you're a mayor, but you're still a city employee. And I think that would make me a good city employee and be able to manage the city the way I think it should be managed for the future by you. Of course, one of my biggest questions I always liked at candidates, uh, what made you decide you wanted to run? Well, uh, like I said, I'm from Iuka. I really love the town. I managed to keep a job with TVA where I'd done a lot of traveling, but I was still able to keep my mailing address in Iuka. I was in and out, but managed to be there. My mailing address was always there. And like I said, it's, it's been a quiet little town, a good place to raise children. And I'd like to keep it that way, but to keep it that way, we've got to in turn help develop the city with uh, hopefully more jobs, things for the kids to do, things for the adults to do for their kids. Uh, we've got a good educational system there. I'd like to help improve on that and be a better uh, motivation to how people move into Iuka to keep our tax base and everything up but the key to all of that is getting industry in there as well. You talk about uh, being a working mayor. What, what do you mean by being a working mayor? 
Well, uh, I'm involved out in town every day. Uh, even though I'm retired, I'm out seeing people, talking to people, and I've always been used to working with my hands. I've always done uh, involved in projects. I've done several in the past year for the city of Iuka. I was instrumental in fabricating and installing basketball goals at the park, helping install the uh, skateboard equipment. I built a bathroom for the school system at the old, uh, it's the Iuka Middle School now, it once was the Iuka High School. I uh, <clears throat> helped uh, remodel the bleachers. And my last endeavor with them, I uh, helped, uh, well, I didn't actually help, I did it. I built a rubbish truck for them, put the bed on it and everything at, uh, just at cost for the city. The city got into that truck for half what they would have to pay for a new one. And it was basically on my time and I was thrilled to do it because the city needed a truck like that to keep the city clean. And that's one thing that everybody's trying to work toward is clean Iuka up and keep it clean. And I'm dedicated to that as well as working with the city employees to help that happen. We're talking, of course, with Mr. Ricky Smith. He's a candidate for the mayor of Iuka. And of course, that election time is coming up on June 6th. And depending on when you watch this interview, uh, it's going to be a few days away. And i tell you what, I know uh, Rick would like for you to share this video. We're going to be, of course, we'll have this on Facebook. We'll be showing it on TV 97. We'll also put this on our YouTube channel. So if you get a chance to see this, make sure you share it with your friends and neighbors so they can know more about Ricky Smith and his qualifications to be the next mayor for the city of Iuka. Uh, I know that you've got a lot of ideas and, uh, and of course, uh, is to be the mayor of Iuka. If you're uh, elected, what would be some of the top priorities you'd have as a mayor? Well, as I, I said, it goes back to, again, that uh, people have stated uh, concerns about keeping Iuka clean. And I've been seeing that uh, over the years and everything. And I would like to uh, help the city clean itself up. But instead of just going door to door and telling the homeowners, you got to do this and do that, you know, we should step up with the city, help these people do this, and help control it. And that way, in the future, we can get it streamlined where it will stay that way. It'll be a perpetual thing ongoing. Uh, prime example, uh, I noticed on the news here, last month there was a club in Tupelo, Mississippi, sponsored a cleanup day. The clubs got out, cleaned up streets, and helped beautify the city of Tupelo. And I'd like to instrument something like that with the city of Iuka, for the city employees to get started, but get the community involved in it. For instance, my wife, she mows my grass, thank heavens. <laughs> I could care less about mowing, she does. And along our street, I live on North Pearl Street, she gets out and we pick up litter constantly. Most of it's uh, bags from uh, these uh, McDonald's and such places, but we clean our own street up. And that's what I would like to uh, help the people look to do is not necessarily enforce it, but put the ideas into their head, you know, to keep the community clean. This is what we need to do as a community. Everybody come together and do this. Ricky Smith, once again, our <laughs> special guest here on the political forum. We're talking about the big mayor's race coming up on June the 6th. And of course, uh, I know the people out there want to know more about you. And that's what we're trying to do is get the word out about uh, Mr. Ricky Smith today. And, uh, you, uh, you've got a lot of leadership skills. You bring a lot of experience over your uh, time with TVA. And uh, you also was involved in a Partners in Education, uh, which deals with the local youth. Uh, talk about yes, that sir. just we, a little we bit. We were lucky enough when I did, uh, I worked for TVA and uh, we had a uh, thing set up for several years there, Partners in Education, where the facilities you worked at could sponsor school. Well, at that time, uh, I was from Iuka and I volunteered to do it. And we got uh, $500 a year donated through TVA to the Iuka Middle School at the time. And we, uh, they allowed us to use uh, TVA employees to donate their time to come up to the schools. We uh, went up and set up a new concession stand that APAC uh, donated to the school system. We set it up at no cost to the school help uh, redo the bleachers at the old football field. And uh, I worked with the, the principals and everything there to, for different new facilities and things. And that was done through 
uh, the functions with TVA. Of course, uh, Ricky, our special guest here today, Ricky, I was looking at some of the things about your past. Of course, you worked with, uh, of course, Smith Plumbing and Electoral in your younger days, and you learned to do a lot of things that uh, helped you in life now, and some of these things you learned in life can uh, help you be a better mayor because you, yes. if you're a mayor, you're going to be managing the folks, and you know, a lot of folks don't know how much is involved in managing the city. you got the street department and a lot of equipment, and uh, I think uh, one thing on top of your mind is is even better training for the folks. Yes, sir. So like I said, I want to be a working mayor. I want to be involved with the employees with the city. And as you stated, my uh, dad was the late Corky Smith, had plumbing electrical business, was in business in IU for 40-something years. I had uh, three brothers. We were all involved in the business one time or another. And it gave us experience running equipment, maintaining that equipment. We worked with the city people back when my father had the business, you know, things simple like hooking sewer lines and stuff up in this, in conjunction with the city. So we had hands on. It wasn't nothing one day you'd be in the ditch with a pick and shovel, next day running a backhoe. And uh, part of my growing up with my dad, I helped do the maintenance on the equipment. So I think all my life experiences with my father's business will help me help the employees of the city of Iuka. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of equipment you've got, new, used, or whatever. If you don't have the trained people to put on that equipment, you're not going to achieve anything. And that's one thing I'd like to look at and make sure we've got the proper, qualified people on that equipment that know their job. And one, uh, one job, for instance, all right, the uh, natural gas lines. We've got natural gas all over the city. I know people need to be certified to work on that. I want to be able to make sure that we have certified people because that's a liability thing. Not only are you putting employees in danger, you're putting the citizens of Iuka in danger, and that's some of the things I want to look at. Well, we're going to be wrapping it up. Of course, our special guest today has been Ricky Smith. Uh, I told you he's running for mayor for the city of Iuka. Don't forget election coming up on June the 6th, so don't forget when you go to the polls. I know Rick would really appreciate you for voting for him as mayor. And, of course, uh, Ricky, you and I sat here a long time ago and did a little interview a long time ago, and I don't know if you remember, uh, I always have a camera for the candidates over here to uh, let you ask for the folks vote out there as we wrap up our interviews, but at this time I'm going to turn it over to Rick and let him ask for your vote uh, coming up on June the 6th. Rick? Uh, as Jack uh, stated, this election is very important to me. It's coming up June the 6th, and I hope as many people as possible will get out and vote. Uh, that's how we're, everybody that I've talked to wants change. Well, the only way we're going to have change and expect change is to get out and vote. So come June the 6th, I hope as many people as can get out and vote. And if, if, if I'm your candidate, I will be grateful for everything you do. And I will be a working mayor for the city of Iuka. I'll be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have concerns, Call me, come by and talk to me. I'll be out and around the community. You won't have to search me out because all you got to do is look up and I'll be there somewhere. But the main thing right now is go vote. Sounds good. Ricky Smith, uh, thank you so much for coming. And I appreciate I, your time. I know we haven't got a lot of time until June the 6th. I know you're trying to get in front of as many folks as possible, but this is another way to get that yes, name sir. out there. So yes, if you see this interview, make sure you share it with your friends. And Rick, I want to wish you good luck uh, coming I up. appreciate it. Once again, June the 6th, go to the polls and elect Ricky Smith as the next mayor for the city of Iuka. For Denise on the controls, Ricky Smith, our special guest. I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us here on the Political Forum. And we'll see you on Election Day, June the 6th. Y'all have a great day.